Hey Pisces, how you doing? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. We are checking in for your energy, sun, moon and rising. Let's see what is going on and how we can support you right now. Just want to give a big shout out to all our amazing viewers and subscribers and those that stop on by now and then. Some of you leave really sweet messages and send emails and I just want to acknowledge you. Um, I appreciate you taking the time. All right. So Pisces fam, right now we have got man holding a heart, magician and the mirror and angel of balance. Mm. So interesting what's coming through with this. I do feel there's a, there's a masculine around you right now. Um, or you're the masculine that's connecting into this right now for your counterpart or what you're calling in. Cause there's, there's some depth. There's definitely feeling I'm just, I'm, someone's got their heart now kind of beating in check. And maybe there's some self-reflection here, uh, that's happening. And I don't know what this is. It's like either someone's trying to call you in, um, and, or wanting to connect with you, but it's like there's something about some self uh, reflection is what it keeps giving me here with the magician and the mirror. It's like they want to manifest you in, or they're trying to call you in or something of this nature or vice versa energy, but there's something about seeing oneself. I feel this is what is trying to be understood. Um, because interestingly with the magician and the mirror, you, you can see the two different energies here, like light, or cool and fire. There's something here about the balancing of energies. And then we've got angel of balance as well. So there's something that wants to be kind of the word again, I'm just going to give you the words that are coming to me is like figured out something to be figured out, something to be understood, but there's something about self-reflection here that, that, that's sitting strong in the energy Pisces. Um, so let's see what this is trying to share here uh, and who this is about. You, them, another person coming in. Let's let's check it out, shall we? Share more on this man holding a heart energy. Thank you. So I've got moon energy and the fool. So it's like you may not be aware of this person's feelings or you may not be aware that this person's connecting in, thinking about you, but it's like someone wants to come towards you here, Pisces. got the death energy as well page of inspiration let's just take a bit of a deeper look nine of materials one more thank you spirit and muse of materials mm -mm -mm. Now I want to dive in deeper on this, but initially what's coming up here is there's someone here that feels something about you or is thinking about you. Um, she, she's looking at the moon and the imagery and the information coming through is about you connecting, you know, when you look at, look at the moon, no matter where you are, that, that other energy or another person that you're thinking about or desiring, they're also looking at the moon too. And I feel like there's something here about being connected to your feelings. Maybe some of you like to look out the window or maybe you sit out on the balcony or patio or something. There's some reference here about looking at the moon. And I'm not sure what this or who this relates to specifically, but it just feels like there's some pondering going on or some thinking about a situation that you may not be aware that this person's thinking or feeling the same thing that you're feeling. And I, there's just some really amazing connection that's happening here, but th there's a lot of depth and there's a lot of feeling around it. And I don't think you guys are aware that you're kind of like wishing and putting out the same things here. Um, but interestingly, I feel like there's something or someone that's coming towards you. And with the, the death energy, I don't know if this person's had to wait or has had a shift in their life with the death energy um, or there's been an ending of some kind that's something about being rebirthed but I feel like this is a different version of self so it's not necessarily a person that you've already been connected to but maybe something that someone went through or had to go through 
to be able to connect and meet because like I said I feel like there's still some self-reflection or some understanding here about what is being manifested who's being manifested or received in but that there seems to be um something being called in right now with this energy or connection that you may not be aware of uh interestingly it's like they're going to come in come communicate come talk to you with this page of inspiration energy so i just feel like this is some new beginning here with death energy that's new energy right it's like something is birthing something is awakening here Interesting with the Nine of Materials and the Muse of Materials, also with the Angel of Balance, there's something here about being very attractive here, Pisces, being very connected, being very stable, being like very vibrant is what I feel. Uh, and I don't know, I just, I'm hearing like someone wants to suit up for you or vice versa, you know, maybe the, the masculine and you're, you're seeing someone that you're interested in and you're ready to kind of present yourself and whatever energy this comes in, I feel like, um, if this is not someone that you're directly pursuing or pursuing you, they could just be energetically like something that's coming in. If that makes sense that you're just not aware of right now. But it's a very beautiful energy because it feels very strong. It feels very stable and feels very connected. It's someone who's taking care of their stuff, taking care of, you know, they just seem in a really solid place, whoever this energy is. And I think it's a very warming place to be or whoever's showing up or, or you're going to present to. But I just feel like for some of you, you're, you're getting or moving into a very um, – financially strong position or working on something that's putting you into that energy with this angel of balance. It's like whatever's kind of been a bit, you know, wacky, um, a bit unbalanced, I guess, if you wish to say, but it wants to give me another word that you, you're going to start seeing things kind of shift here. For some of you too, this could be an opportunity that comes in, in terms of work, um, could also be too with this page of inspiration and nine of material like especially and the muse of material because this is something that you grow go in grow into leading into um, and it was interesting yesterday's read too it's kind of like the reading is like half half energy half relating to your relationship and then half um, connected to your career your purpose your goals and this could kind of be the same there's something opening up here uh, for you uh, then we've got the night of materials the ten of materials that's showing up here yeah so with this moon energy man holding a heart to have the nine of materials here that there's definitely something that you're not aware of where someone is slowly coming towards you here with something significant something solid here that feels warm that feels safe uh but you might find that they're going to slowly pick up a little bit of speed. Uh, I get with this night of materials in particular, but whatever this offer is and is presenting itself, it's to really get you connected or connect with you on a more significant level, a deeper commitment. Um, someone's got a very solid eye on you, Pisces, or really thinking about you and see you as a person that brings everything together in strength, in unity, in harmony, um, and just this abundant energy. So I really, really like that, whatever this is or wherever this is going, because someone's taken a leap on that uh, is what I feel. Death energy. You had the six of voices and the four of voices. So someone I feel is coming... Um, to move towards you after potentially being quiet or doing their own healing is what it seems here. Because while this is moving on, I feel like someone's moving on for some, for some old energy, moving into new energy, okay? Especially with this four of, four of voices, like someone had to heal and is shifting out of that and moving into this new direction where they see, feel or see like there's some, there's some excitement there. There's some I think desire of a little bit of adventure or a little bit of curiosity here and hence why the the moving into this direction it's again I just keep hearing you've caught their eye page of inspiration what do you need to know we've got the four of wands and the queen of voices mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so this is pretty cool when we get these two energies this is pretty cool because when this all connects together, whoever's coming in, 
who has this brilliant idea that's like, hey, Pisces, I want to know you a little bit more, um, whatever this is, or maybe you're going towards someone and expressing something here, an idea. Um, I just, I feel it's light and fun, whatever this is. And at the same time, I just, I just see you right now. It's like, you're the golden energy. Like you want, like someone wants to capture you because they know like what a prize you are to be in their life. Um, it's like they, they just see you at, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. other than this golden light, this golden energy. It's like, this is the person I need to know them. I need to know more about them. I I can't let them go. I've got to make my move. It's like all these things, thoughts and are going through this person and they just see you as the path. They see you as the path. They see you as the one to connect to, to do things with. Um, so this person just seems very, very keen to want to know you, to get to know you. Um, this is pretty cool energy. And then I think the way you're coming across, um, I think you're going to be cool, calm and collected in, in the approach here, Pisces. And the reason I feel that is because I think in your own way, you've potentially done your own healing, done your own work in a, and you're in a strong place, right? You're in a strong place of doing you. And I think mentally and emotionally, you're, you're becoming more secure in yourself and knowing how to handle things or deal with things. But sometimes we can get tripped up, right? I think that's just natural when our emotions or our heart can be, you know, kind of hurt a bit. I just feel all the potential, potential, like you don't want to repeat patterns, right? But reality is when, where there is love, sometimes there can be hurt um, because we all have our views, emotions, feelings around certain things. But a lot I feel here is about going to be about communication and connecting on a like more intellectual level, I feel with this energy, but I also feel you're going to be watching, you know, wanting to understand more from a psychological level how they've healed, perhaps what work that, that they've done, you know, to take care of themselves. Um, I think you want to know a little bit more about this person to see where they're at or what space they're in. And maybe, you know, I mean, the intellectual connection can be really, really sweet when you can have deep, meaningful conversations. But I also feel too, like you're kind of sussing this energy out, um, if this is an energy that you already know, because for some of you, just the way this queen of voices is looking back, um, this could also be someone that you were once connected to that's coming in and not expecting. I'm not getting a massive vibe on that, but it could be for, for a percentage of you um, where you've been committed and that commitment came to an end and someone moved on and it's now coming back around and trying to manifest you and figure out how to do that with the way that they behaved or acted. I just feel like there's, again you're going to be kind of cold or a bit not as open and want to understand from an, a logical perspective, not being in your feelings, but really looking at the situation on how they're showing up, what work they've done, what healing they've done, recognizing that they did at some point move on from this connection. So why are they coming back around? Like it's that kind of energy. Like what, what are you up to homie? You know, so let's have a look more at this nine of materials. Yeah. So there's something coming in that it seems like you're, you're moving towards here with this eight of inspiration. And then you've got the five of voices. Let's get one more for this five of voices. Okay. Mm, I'm hearing doing things differently. Okay. This is cool. So what I feel is happening here with this eight of inspiration, whatever news communication or something that's coming towards you, you're going to be feeling really good about it. Um, I think energetically you're in a good space. So you're attracting these cool things that are coming towards you. Okay. Um, if there has been something or some area of your life that you've been really paying attention to being introspective, maybe even, you know, connecting in journaling, um, I don't know, I was going to say printing for some reason, printing, I don't know, maybe you're printing something out that, that you're reading or connecting into or writing about, but there's something here around this part of you that is just radiating here with some opportunity that presents itself but it's a, it's, it's an aligned opportunity because with this aid of inspiration, it's like this news and this communication is going to start moving things forward quite quickly. You could be too, um, 
connecting in with something, someone or a situation or opportunity that you bring balance into their life. It's like they really needed you or wanted to call you in. For some of you, this could be a business opportunity like, whoa, I need to have Pisces in my life. Pisces is the one that can really help build this, can help grow this, can really make this something, you know, um, and I feel like there's just something here about a new chapter that I feel you're moving towards that you really get to step into your stronger side of like leading and of warmth and of diplomacy and of just of understanding, but making, making things happen. And it's like, I'm just getting the golden child or the golden one. There's something about the golden. I don't know what this is, but the way that I see it and the way this energy comes and sees you is just like, whoa, you're kind of like the sunshine in their life. And I know we don't have the sun here, but that's how they kind of look at you. Um, with this five of voices and the wheel energy, I feel like if there is something that, um, I mean, you could be helping people resolve conflicts. I don't know why that's coming in. That could be something with your work with Angel of Balance or Five of Voices, but it could also be some energy that you do know or that um, is familiar to you. There's something shifting with the way that they may approach things or connect with you because they've figured out they've got to come from a different place and are maybe a more stable. They're not as defensive and they're letting you know too, that, you know, things have changed or things are different. This turn of events is for you, uh, Pisces. We're seeing this is super positive, um, because the wheel energy is a change, but a positive one. Okay. A positive change forward. So if there has been conflict in some area of your life, I feel like this is moving out and shifting out. Also too, um, if you've been waiting for some opportunity to show up, if you've been concerned about money or wanting just things to kind of work out in that area or that field um, of your life, I feel again that this is working its way out. Let's get some final messages for you, Pisces, um, and what you need to know in terms of where this is going. What else does Pisces need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we've got nourishment while waiting. Well, isn't that super cute? Aw. I feel like this is a lot around self-care right now. So maybe, you know, that's what's been happening with an energy, same as yourself, is like you've been focused on yourself doing the work. And that's what I think I really like about this energy is like someone's done the work and is rebirthing here and coming to a place to meet you on the level that you're also at. So this is uh, really, really beautiful. It's like preparing for the arrival of something amazing coming in your life, something that you've been wanting to manifest, something that you've been really wanting to connect into. So whether this is a partnership, you know, an intimate relationship, a, a type of job. I just feel like this is really, really awesome here. Um, inner conflict resolution. I was saying something here about sorting out conflict um, and that's the card that's come through. But again, this is about an internal journey, an introspective journey. And I feel like there's something significant here about that for someone or um, an experience that's kind of going to show up here for you that you get to. Sometimes we don't want to, but it's like, learning the the depths of something that you had to learn from a previous energy experience or whatever that may be and now coming into a place of whenever you're presented with a certain situation that may trigger you that may show up and be like oh you know you know how to handle it and I really feel that here you know how to handle whenever when that situation comes up whether it's this one is talking about inner conflict resolution. So coming at peace within yourself, but knowing how to handle things when that conflict does show up. And then we've got tame and attain. Giddy up, baby. So this one here is really, really cool. Furthermore, this is more in depth talking about knowing what to take hold of, how to, how to manage it, how to work with it. And I'll, I'll say the word manipulate, but not in a manipulative way. It's like knowing how to massage it, it might be the better way to make something work and flow and go to 
get the result to get to where you want to go because I think a key part here in taming is this inner inner part this inner understanding okay and I think this is where the queen of voices is showing up strong here for you in this energy is that you're watching someone's behavior watching someone how they're talking and then how they're showing up okay and I think too it's like you want to believe what is coming or showing up but at the same time it's like you've you've learnt I think a lot over the period of time, you know, whether it's the last year, two years, five years, I mean, I think we're always learning, but there's something significant. I think you've kind of uh, discovered about yourself and the, or the way someone operates and just understanding things on a deeper level. And I feel this time too, that there's a part of you that knows how to work your magic to really make something go a certain direction. And you have a very strong power when it comes to manifesting. You know that when you put something out there that it shows up. And importantly, because it was an interesting conversation I had with my brother, and this is where now this is circling around, is that sometimes we're saying things that we're going to do and it shows up for us. It just may not show up in the way that we wanted. You know, maybe you weren't getting the love that you need, the support that you need in a relationship, whether it's friendship, a lover, you know, a spouse, whatever it might be. And if you've been thinking about it, and I think I even mentioned this about a month ago, if you've been thinking about that, what we may not realize is that we end up manifesting a change in that connection. And it could be sometimes ending it to allow the new in or being a problem to be able to resolve and fix it. But it's also self-reflection is needed because it comes from both sides. So what do you need to nurture within yourself in the period for when this next, you know, energy connection experience shows up for you? And I think there's something here about your own inner work that when it comes around, you, you can just attract it in because you've done the work and you know this time to take your time to really look at it, really assess it, but in, in a healthy way, right? To make this whole, to make this feel like I got this, like I'm attracting it in, I'm bringing it in, I know how to handle it and you're just feeling good about it. It's like those things that you may have been insecure about before or worried about before, it's like you're cool to take the time. You're cool to just be you and do and follow your goals and your dreams and if there's someone or a situation that comes in that matches that and vibrates with that, why not be curious and and see where it goes, right? But again, I feel like there's... um, What's really awesome is that you're not so, um, the best way to put this is like you're kind of detached from what it can be and just flowing with it. And that's what I really like about this energy for you, Pisces. It's really, really strong. It's really, really potent in your own lessons, your own growth and introspective uh, energy right now with whatever you're putting out there. So have fun with it, I say. I'll speak to you again soon, friends. Bye.